If I were to recommend one book for you to read a day that would explain what's going on in the world today, that would be Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. This book is a book that I read in 2020 and I was blown away. It's a big book, it has hundreds of pages. If you've read Atlas Shrugged, uh, good for you. If you did and you enjoyed the book, please do me a big favor and leave in the comments down below books that are as good as Atlas Shrug or even better. So let me tell you, I was reading this book in 2020 and then I was, you know, listening to the news in 2020 and I literally could not tell whether the news were a continuation of the reality in the book. So let me backtrack a little bit to give you like a, a, a big picture. So before you even start to read the book, I strongly suggest that you get familiarized with the rules of logic. I think this is at the basis of you know, understanding the book and the concepts in the book. The book is an awesome book. It has everything in it. It has passion, romance, you know, business um, and philosophy. So it's a complete book. Now, the book was written or published, I'm not sure, in 1940s. And you could see how the author wanted to uh, ring an alarm bell. My um, perception is that, you know, a lot of the things going on in the world today are basically based on, you know, main philosophies that are being applied today in politics, business, so on, especially in politics, because politics then influences business, you know, through reg regulations, policy and so on. So if you understand the rules of logic and, you know, do a Google search, go on Wikipedia, you will understand, you know, what those are. And then you start listening to the news and you will hear, it's not just the news, you know, in the business area, like in the business sector, you know, where you work, people you talk to, you would start to get real um, information on who is really applying logic to what they're saying and who is not. Now, for me, obviously, and I imagine for you as well, you know, we all have this innate kind of ability to, you know, work with logic or, or, or so we think. And we more or less are in tune with you know our own ways of using logic so look atlas shrugged at the basis of it it is about two main philosophies that influence politics in a country and the world and then these have consequences in the business and economies of the countries in the world so that's at the basis of it. Now, you could say this is a story about socialism versus capitalism or communism versus capitalism or whatever you perceive based on your, you know, uh, your own lived experience or so on. But at the, at the basis of it is I, I feel it speaks to me as a, as a, um, as a story that uh, rings the alarm bell about what could happen if the entire world um, starts moving away, drifting away from using logic and capitalism in terms of results-oriented efforts. So efforts in business, in life that are geared towards getting results and getting improvements so whether it's through increased efficiencies whether through profit um, so so on and so forth so i, I don't want to give too much of the book away 
but needless to say if you really feel that things are a bit drifting away in in your reality in, around you or in the world i really encourage you to read this book it will make things clear in your mind as to what's really going on and then hopefully you will be able to you know bring all this logic the the laws and the rules of logic from your subconscious mind into your conscious mind and be conscious when people around are saying things that don't make sense and doing things that don't make sense for you know overall life improvement overall you know efficiencies overall profit because you know look no no system no economic social economic political system is perfect i'd be the first to admit that so i've seen socialism i've seen communism i've seen capitalism and none of them is perfect but if i were to work with a broken system and choose one i would always choose capitalism because in capitalism you know that your efforts are going to be rewarded sooner or later you do the work and you get the results or you only get as much as you put in as you know people like to say so if you don't put anything in then you won't get any results for sure if you are you know being your best you know working hard or smart in the end you you you're bound to see results whether they're good or bad at least you will see something so my model of choice is capitalism obviously there's always room for improvement you know have more consideration you know make it more human for for you know everyone to be able to participate but at the end of the day i think capitalism gives a fair choice to every person to succeed if they really um apply themselves to being better and you know doing better and you know overcoming their challenges so all right okay i already i already went into a rant you know about the book but the book is so good and honestly it's um if you haven't read it you're missing out this book can be a real big wake up call for you know ordinary people people who want to do better in life and people who want to be more um in tune with you know a sense of logic and being able to spot imposters this book brings a trigger right so it's like it builds in a trigger where you can spot bs or you can spot you know wrong illogic behavior or wrong illogic you know um communication whether it be in personal life with your friends family in business and you know on the political scene i'm hoping you start reading the book as soon as possible and if you do come back on this video and just leave comments below i want to see how you enjoy the book all right so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is useful for you. Again, if you did read Atlas Rug, let me know in the comments down below a book or books that are as good or better than Atlas Rug. I'm really looking forward to reading more and I'm only looking to read top top books. So, yes. So, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again in one of my next videos soon. Take care for now.